Monkeys! Donut Queen. We kind of robbed the shop of all their donuts. Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Ben. Malaysia! Welcome back guys. It has been a few days since we filmed because we had like the New Year celebration and so we just like spent some time with family and friends. But we're back out. It's our last day of our moped so we're going to go out and show you the things that we've not shown you and just explore this beautiful island. So the first stop is the famous Eagle Square. Seven pounds, so I don't know how much I'm going to put on, so it'll hold the money. It'll be about a dollar. Right, that just cost us six ringgit to fill up the, the whole tank. The reason why we came here is because the most famous landmark here in Langkawi is this statue behind me it is called eagle red that is what langkawi actually means that's what it translates to situated here on the jetty it's got loads of boats and stuff around it you will not go a day in langkawi without seeing the famous red eagles and that's where it gets its name from busy here like I thought it'd be like it's really hard to get a picture of no one in it but it actually weren't that bad like around the front of the eagle it was quite busy but it's really beautiful here there's like water fountains loads of features and they've made like where it is like a big star so once you put the drone up you could see it but around the edge they've got like a shade bit under like a really nice archway and there's loads of little stores selling like I don't know your souvenirs and trinkets ice cream I, I would definitely say if you're in Langkau it's Eagle Square mm -hmm definitely worth a visit mm. so beautiful and if you just want to come in just take some pictures well i couldn't stop here and not get ice cream and oreo is like my new obsession so when i saw oreo ice cream and look how big it is and it was only four it. might have to get another one how do you not get an ice cream doesn't get an ice cream when you say ice cream it's like a rule you've got to buy one it's all like 100 plus we're just sat in here getting out of the sun a bit it's a bit warm today as it is every single day where do we think of going next do you think we should find a waterfall yeah i think we'll go and find a waterfall maybe have a dip in that The Doraine Parangan. It is one of the most popular waterfalls here. I think there's like three main ones. We've been two out of three, I think. But let's go and have a look around. Suppose it's quite steep up. But it looks absolutely beautiful. And there's loads of monkeys when you come in. So monkeys greet you because there's a bin there. If there's a bin there, there's monkeys. Where the waterfall's running down, there's a long, beautiful lake running through. And it looks like crystal clear water. You go in and swim. Where there's a waterfall, there's always steep stairs. So let's go. No pain, no gain. Oh, these aren't exactly stairs. So it's definitely worth going in there. It was really nice and it weren't too stony as well. But the further you got in, the more sandy it was. It was getting quite busy. We saw down below there was no one there, so we're hoping no one's there still. And we're going to go down there because we just want to go for a little swim and maybe take the drone up. I'm not sure, there's too many trees around. I get a bit nervous. Standard waiting for Ben to get his trainers on. 
we are going shopping after here and getting him some flip flops. It's my birthday tomorrow as well, so I need to go and buy a new dress because you can't not have a new dress for a birthday. And we are going on a sunset cruise. So next stop, we're jumping on the scooter and we're heading towards, it's meant to be the best donut place here in Langkawi. We've got to go there because I'm the like, donut queen. <laughs> you are the donut queen. Come on the donut queen, let's go. Ha ha ha. Have you got the right hats on? Don't I? Mine feels big. Mine feels small. We've got the wrong ones on. You were his white, weren't you? Yeah. Monkeys! about this really good donut place Zomi. So, mean, literally you can see them making them freshly and they're always hot and delicious. Five, five of them. Forty swan? Yeah, five of them, please. Five. 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 Yeah. So we kind of robbed the shop of all their donuts. Or really they had loads. But we got so we'll go through what we got. We got a chocolate donut. Only one so that one is definitely for me. Five of the red velvet donuts. Should we have a look? Alright. Well, there'd be like cream cheese in it or something, but it's just a plain iced donut, it's just coloured red. But it's so fresh and fluffy, it's unreal. We then had to get obviously a ring donut, and it looks like it has jam in it, so I can see a little bit of hint there. I've never felt a donut so light and fluffy. Look at that. Okay, I'll try it. Mmm, I'm wrong, there's no jam in it. The colour that I've seen on it is from the red velvet donuts. Obviously, the food colouring's gone there, so it's just a plain one. But it is. Look at that. I've never tasted a donut this fresh. And also, we got a milk iced tea. We really enjoyed them in Thailand, so we thought we had to get them. Right, let me try it. Similar to the Indian's coffee, where it's like really, really sweet. Really more, so I love it. But this is one of the main reasons we went there. We tried one of these the other day. It's a savory donut, so there's no sugar or anything on it. You just got the donut bun, but then you've got like a sweet onion chutney in the middle, and they were really, really good. So let's check if this one's just as good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just as good. It's got a look, a little kick to it, but it's got the sweetness of the onion and then the lovely, fluffy donut roll on it. 14 donuts and a drink, and it comes to 17 ringgit. Highly recommend if you're in Langkawi, take the trip, get a scooter, and try this donut place. It is unreal. The name, location will all be in the description. What? It's my birthday! Happy 21st birthday to me! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually my 33rd birthday, I had a pink then. We'll take you along and show you a few things we get up to today because we've got a sunset cruise tonight, so yeah. let's go and get ready for it because I'm thinking massage, new dress. I was going to say, first of all, we've got to make sure we drop the scooter back because it's got to be back at 12.30. It's 1.30. 1.30, <laughs> yes. But we only just noticed that, so... We didn't realise it was time. Yeah, hopefully they just don't really say nothing, but whatever. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is going to hurt. The sun has been shining on our seat and it's boiling hot. And I've got bare bum. Ah, go. That is well off. Oh, it burns. Hello, thank you. Pretty well. That went well. Well, happy with that. Yeah. Was it back and didn't get charged for extra hours? So we recommend this place. We'll leave the name and description down below. It's literally on the main road like, strip here. So 
perfect location. It's yeah. literally two minutes walk. I always worry about renting a scooter abroad. I know like obviously there's legal issues with driver's license. To be honest, we had nothing. No problems at all. And no, I love that. It's what you want. Highly recommend it. So I was planning on getting Ben some solids because if you've been following us on the journey for the last six months, he's been living in high tops, which are very inconvenient and annoying because if you've been to Asia, you have to take off your shoes quite a lot to go into places. I bought these the other day off the market store for 15 rennet. Absolute bargain. So I'm going to just go and grab him some because I know what he'll be like. Uh, so I'll just go and buy them. But the market's not up yet, so I'm going to wait until the evening. This day isn't going right. The dress I wanted to buy for tonight, the shop is closed. I'm praying they've just closed for lunch or something. What will be open later. I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't got a backup dress. I'm just going to have to go in normal clothes. Um, next thing is a massage. Let's see if we can get that. The one I wanted to go to is closed, so she thinks I don't know what's birthday. going on. She thinks it's her birthday. I've got to convince someone to come with me though, because I've never been for a match. Well, I went for one in Nepal and it was a bit weird. She started climbing on top of me, so I'm a bit scared now. I only want like a leg and foot massage because I keep getting this like pain when I'm lying down at night on my legs and everyone keeps saying have that done, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Thank you. So Ben's just ordered a smoothie. I can't even like put us little seats out here and everything. This place is good if you come here. Um, fresh smoothies every day. We see them every day and they're so busy with beautiful fresh fruit. Ben's got like a smoothie of the day. It's got mango, yogurt, dragon fruit and passion fruit in it. And it was 14 bring it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Try it. <laughs> you actually going to let me try it first? Try it. No, give it a try. Look how purple it is. Yeah, look at this one. Mm. You can really taste the mango though, that sort of over overpowers everything else. But it's very nice, very fresh. You try that? Mm. I'm too down! <laughs> I don't know what to do. Mango, it's all I can taste. Yeah, mango. Cold and refreshing. Which is one up. What? What's it look one up? No, it's hot neck. Thank you. My heart is made of stone. I know it's not my fault. It's just the way it is, love. My childhood was a boy. My feelings got ignored. Now I get back to now, love.